So I like to run these tests every now and then. And because I, I, to me, again as an observationist, I'm seeing things every day. I get up every day and I see and hear things. I go, well, that's fucking insane. <laughs> You, you guys participated in the election? Of course, sir. You did. And you voted, I assume. And you voted for? The Liberal Party. Liberal Party. So you voted for Hillary Clinton, just straight ticket? You didn't look at issues, you just voted straight ticket? No, no, no. I looked at issues. Yeah, I looked at issues. Yeah, I looked at issues. Yeah, I looked at issues. Most yeah. Yeah. You go to school, I assume, so why education yes. is on the top of the list? Yeah. Okay, that's a whole other subject. Here's the here's the sanity test. As of late, you know, there's been a lot of talk about rushing hacking the election. That you know, Trump is an illegitimate president because somehow or another the Russians interfered with the election results. A lot of liberals are calling for Trump to be not sworn in until this is cleared up. <clears throat> so this is a sanity test. I'm, as a observer, would like to know from any liberal that believes that the Russians influenced our election and then, you know, made Trump president, how they did it. How did they do it? I mean, all I want is a simple question. How did the How did the Russians give Trump the election and manage to give Clinton the popular vote? I mean, if you're that good, you should run the country. So, I mean, you know, I get you've got, you know, Lewis, Representative Lewis came out this morning, yesterday, and he's going, Trump's illegitimate. They ought to stop this inauguration. I mean, I don't believe that, though. I don't think the Russians I need rigged or anything with the elections. I just think that they do support Trump. I think that relationship is a little risky. But I don't think they like, did anything with the elections specifically. So, I mean, I know that's a view, but I don't believe that. No, no, you, you, you just went like this on the same meter. You really did. You're a sane liberal. You're, you're, so far, you're a sane liberal. This is a very good thing. Uh, this is what I was looking for. You know, because when you run into people, you just can't. You know. But you want to see the insanity I'm reaching at here, I'm trying to point out. You have a representative, you have Rosie O'Donnell coming out and saying we ought to protest and keep him from becoming, you know. So do you you accept the election as, a, you know? I, I think don't that, like it, but I accept it. Yeah, I know the election is not what I want, but it's what people voted the majority for. voted. So. God bless you. I'd like to thank you guys and your teachers, and you know, and uh, you know, your friend from Mexico, whoever the hell you're hanging out with, you know, uh, because uh, you know, yeah, I think you passed the liberal sanity test. That's a very good thing.